This is Berevin Alali, and she's doing what she loves best, cooking up a storm with her Syrian recipes for a group of hungry people. Alali became a Bracebridge resident six years ago when she and her family were sponsored to come to Canada from Syria by the United Church in Bracebridge. So we heard in the news uh, Canada want 25,000 uh, people from Syria to come to Canada. Mm -hmm. Then right away my husband applied for that and uh, he googled it and he searched a lot, a lot, a lot until um, we find the United Church here in Canada, uh, here in Bracebridge. So we, uh, we applied and they said yes we have a uh, we have a spot for you we can sponsor you then in 2017 uh, we came and we started a new life here in Bridge. and since of that time we are here we didn't move we yeah we love here and the people here we start like our family and just like Alali would do for her family back in her home country she started cooking for those people that she became close with so when, since I came to Canada, like our sponsor friend, uh, they invite us for dinner. We invite them for dinner. So whoever came to my house and eat the food, they say, oh, we please, we want this food always available here. And we will we'll love it. Uh, please open a restaurant or do something for us. Uh, that time I was busy. I was pregnant. I, uh, my kids was so little. I didn't think about it like a business here. Then I have a friend, uh, she said, my friend, uh, eat your food. She said, can I please, I order from Perivan and I will pay her. So I, th I said, uh, no, we don't have that in Syria. We don't, uh, people don't pay us for her food. So she called me, she said, please, I want to pay you. Make that food for me and I will pay you. Then I thought, oh, maybe this is, will be business here in Down Bracebridge. People keep saying we don't have a lot of option here, mm -hmm. like it's a couple of uh, international f uh, food restaurant. That's all. So I said, okay, let's uh, try to uh, be business here. And business is starting to grow with more locals wanting to try this new Syrian menu that they can't find anywhere else locally. So what makes Syrian food different from other types of cuisine you might be used to? Alali says there's a majorly important secret ingredient for her cooking. We cook with love. Mm -hmm. we, we use spices, we use uh, many things too. We spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So we know it's good. <laughs> yeah, and people here need that. Yes. Yes, so I hope it's going well and yeah. And of course, this reporter had to give this ethnic cuisine a try himself. Mm. I love to see people happy and here in Bristbridge is the best way to make people happy fill the stomach <laughs> <laughs> make them food they will be happy so I love uh, to see f people's face when they are happy so that's good yeah. I love to do that <laughs>